Okay, so now that my battery's charged up a little bit, I'm gonna explain to you <clears throat> how to how I got that uh, those screws out, those Allen screws, those very special tiny Allen screws, and why I had to do that. Let's see here if I can get this on here. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's always something. There we go. I used the low setting. I only have a high, off, and low, so it's not going to be simple. <laughs> All right. So these screws they made. I don't know if you can see it. It's so tiny. Let's see here. Wow. Can't even focus on that thing. Anyways, it's an Allen screw, and my tiniest is 1.5 millimeter. I guess it says 1.5 on it, and uh, it's not small enough to get it get in there either. See, it just doesn't work. It doesn't go in. There. It's a very fine Allen head. So, anyways, what we're going to do. <coughs> To alleviate that, bring this at a certain height, so you, an angle, and turn this hex screw into a flathead screw so you can unscrew it. Okay? Let's take that off. Huh? Find a, a good angle so you don't scar up your the skull face, but you know sometimes that can't be helped. I got scratched. One of the other ones, anyways. <coughs> so, yeah, I can't see it too. You have to get this light perfect so I can see. Get the center of the screw gouged out into a flathead. <laughs> Do it too long because you don't want to go too far down. Just enough so that this flathead can work right here. to get the other side of it. <clears throat> Load this that way. Got it moved on me, so I couldn't get it right. So I'm gonna have to tighten it back a little bit. And I may end up cutting the metal on the chassis, but Okay. Put these screws close, close to the edge. All right, finally in the panel. Jeez, look at that! It's ridiculous, isn't it? Wow! I wish companies would just make flat heads in Phillips. You know, or larger. You know, these would be nice too. You can use these just. You know, not something that tiny. You get grief. Not even the tiniest one I had would work. <laughs> it just wouldn't go in there. No, that, that wouldn't go in there. Okay. 
There he is the inside. <laughs> the juicy gear and the board. And I have to figure out. Ooh, that's a lot of grease. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Crazy. Oh yeah, I got a really nice bright flashlight here. For some reason this thing is not really focusing that well for you guys. I don't know why. Huh. There we go, finally. This is a Samsung Galaxy. Note 3, I'm using. <clears throat> this is the best video camera I've got, period. <laughs> Not the best camera, but best video camera. That's for sure. Alright. So now, I'm going to try to see what else I can take apart here. Um, because I need to get in there and see what's going on. I don't think I'll be able to take the whole thing off, though. Probably not. I couldn't find any disassembly tut tutorials online. Not really. Not for this part, anyways. Maybe it's out there and there's too much out there that I can't find it. Maybe that's the reason, but I'm going to try to get this done myself. Hmm. It does have some play in it, though. I wonder if it's supposed to be that much. It's got a red mark on it. Hmm. I don't think that's the problem though. I'm having runaway issues. Let's start the scope up and it just starts moving on its own. Sometimes you can't even stop it. You have to switch it off. It's ridiculous. When I first got it, it was working okay. <clears throat> In there pretty good. I don't know if it's supposed to be tight in there. Yep, those screws are in there now, yeah. to see what else I gotta do. Be back with the next video.